Good morning and welcome back. Let's take a look at McDonald Pass. The roads are pretty dry, not the case for other areas. Manita Pass, you can't really see, but they're getting some active snow showers and also Raynalls Pass. So if you have to travel through to Idaho through the southern portion of the state, please plan for hazardous conditions. Here's a look at Helena, 28 degrees. The winds are pretty calm. Temperatures today are a lot warmer than where we were yesterday. 34 degrees, the winds blowing from the south. Feels as if it's a uh, 24 degrees, so still feel a little uh, cooler in Great Falls due to that wind. Now today we'll be back to the 50s. Let's take a look at today's forecasted highs. Most areas in the 40s, but you do have some areas along the high line in the upper 20s. You do have that colder air mass that's lingering. We'll have snow that will continue, and even though temperatures are warming up, other places around the state still dealing with weather alerts. We do have a winter weather advisory for southwest Montana. Now this winter weather advisory will remain in effect until 8 p.m. tonight. The lower elevations can get up to five inches of snow and the higher elevations will get up to 10 inches. Now let's take a look at the wind. So you have snow that's falling and also wind, which can cause that snow to blow and drift, which can reduce visibility. The wind will pick up for us today and also going into the weekend. Today we're going to start off with part, mostly cloudy skies. Then as the day plays on, the clouds will start to decrease, but you notice that snow continuing throughout the day going into tonight and also going into Friday for our friends in uh, the southern southwestern Montana. Let's take a look at Friday. And tomorrow is going to be a gloomy day. We'll have overcast skies and we'll have some snow showers. Let's take a look. Temperatures in the 30s and some locations in the 40s in eastern Montana round up 47 degrees. We do have a weak area of low pressure that is going to offer us a little bit more snow. Let's take a look. We'll have overcast skies tomorrow. We'll have light snow showers that will start and that will continue into Friday morning. Now the accumulations will be extremely minimal in the lower elevations. Kalispell, Missoula can get one to to two inches around the capital, we can get an inch. This system will carry on into Saturday, but as we go into the weekend, it's going to be overall pretty dry. Let's take a look at the accumulations into Friday afternoon around West Yellowstone, one to three, but then let's look into Saturday, three to six in West Yellowstone. Most of the lower elevations can get up to an inch. I say that the uh, most of the lower elevations will get under two inches of snow. The weekend is going to be breezy with above average temperatures, but let's look ahead into Saturday. And Saturday will have temperatures in the 40s and also the 30s. The wind will pick up for the state Friday, excuse me, Saturday and also on Sunday. Eastern Montana will have a little bit more sunshine as well. This weekend is, is not going to be too bad. And on Monday, temperatures will hit the 50s in some areas. But all good things must come to an end because we will have a wintry mix that will move into the state on Tuesday. Temperatures will start to cool. We'll have snow showers that will move in um, Tuesday going into to Wednesday. Accumulations will see under three inches in the lower elevations, but let's look at the seven day. Today we'll start off with mostly cloudy skies as the day plays out. Clouds will start to decrease and temperatures will warm up. 40 degrees for today's forecasted high. Tomorrow we'll have overcast skies and light snow showers. 39 degrees this weekend is going to be overall not too bad. Back to you.